They call me Cruise Man. I've put more than 150,000 miles on Honda Goldwings, riding all over this amazing country. Thousands of Goldwing owners have used my videos to guide them when working on their own bikes or considering which aftermarket products to purchase. I love riding and wrenching. These are my motor vlogs. Hello YouTube, this is Cruise Man out on the 2018 Goldwing. Out for a windy day ride in Carrollton, Texas. It's about 70 degrees today. We had some really big thunderstorms last night. In fact, uh, our power was out from about five o'clock this morning until about 9.45. So we had about four, some four and a half hours of uh, no power. You know, spring riding season is just coming up on us real quick. So I hope you guys are getting your bikes ready getting your trips planned out. In fact, I'm anxious to know if you have any road trips planned for the spring this year. Put it in the comments down below. Tell us about your upcoming trips. I'm anxious to know where you guys are going on your Goldwing or on any, whatever motorcycle you're riding. And are you going alone or taking your significant other or going in a group, pulling a trailer? Tell, give us some details. I know I'm going to be going to West Texas in April. I'll be out of town a couple weeks in March. And about a week after I get back, I'll be going to West Texas to visit my brother, which is a kind of a two or three time a year thing. I usually ride the bike out twice a year and I usually fly out around Christmas time since the, you know, the weather can be pretty sketchy at Christmas. You just never know. But that's my first road trip I have planned. And then uh, probably in May or maybe middle of late May, I'd like to uh, get out of here for about a week or 10 days. And I'm not sure where I'm gonna go yet. I'm still trying to decide. I might go to Tennessee, Kentucky, North Carolina area. It's always a beautiful place to ride. We'll just have to see. Boy, a lot has been going on since my last motor vlog. I've been pretty busy. Sorry about the wind, I'm sure you can hear it. I'll close my face mask, maybe that'll help a little. I have a feeling it's gonna be a windy year in Texas. A lot of new videos since my last moto vlog. We have the Cruise Man's Cool Tools, have two new videos, JIS screwdrivers, and the Vice Grip Wire Stripper from Irwin. Both of those have been pretty popular videos. But my most popular video has been the one-year review of my 2018 Goldwing. Because I've had the 2018 Goldwing just almost exactly one year. Maybe one year and ten days now. And when I bought this bike, I, I you know, I was a little apprehensive because I really loved my 2012 Goldwing. I had it all tricked out with everything I wanted, you know, all the bells and whistles. And I thought, man, this, you know, am I going to like this 2018? I just wasn't sure. So I said, I'll give it a year. I'm going to ride this bike for a year, put it through its paces as much as I can. And... Um, and then at the end of the year, I'll make a decision. I'll either go back to a 2017 if I can find one, which I don't think I'd have any trouble finding one, or I'll stick with this new model. Well, you gotta watch the video to find out what I decided. But it's gonna be one of my most popular videos so far, I think. So, you know, I did a video on my first impressions of the Goldwing just about three days after I bought the bike. And now I'm kind of comparing my thoughts to how it compares after owning the bike for a year and about 8,000 miles and three different road trips. Really four different road trips if you count going down to Bryant College Station to get my seat redone. We also put up a new video of the brand new Show Chrome second generation isolation fuse block which is designed now specifically for the 2018 Goldwing. And what's nice about this isolation fuse block is you no longer have to tap into the wires 
of the Goldwing wiring system, of the CAN bus wiring system. It has some specially designed harnesses that just basically plug and play and tap into the, the CAN bus system. It's a much more elegant design. Uh, I think for those of you that have the uh, previous isolation fuse block, they're also going to be selling the harness kit, which I think you'll be able to uh, convert over to that if you want to. But you know, something like this isolation fuse block is something that's really necessary if you have a 2018 or 2019 Goldwing because of this CAN bus electrical system. You know, in the old days, we used to just start plugging, you know, patching in wires here and there, and you could tap into a turn signal wire here and there, and it would work just fine. But you can't do that with this CAN bus system. And I'm going to take just a second right here before I've got a lot of stuff to talk about before I go too far. I want to make sure to remind you that if you like my videos, if you like my motor vlogs, please take a second to click that little subscribe button down below. And if you click on the little bell, YouTube will notify you when I come out with new videos, which I try to do pretty often. And also, please share this video with your friends on Facebook and Instagram and any of your other social media. Or heck, just send them an email, a link in an email. Because the more people we have watching the videos, the better. And I appreciate all your comments and all your little thumbs ups. Really appreciate it. Now I'm headed to the post office right now because I got several, for some reason, just out of the blue, I got several DVD orders today for the 2001 to 2017 Goldwing. So I'm heading to the post office to ship those off. So I'm getting ready to turn into my post office now and I'm gonna drop off these packages. And when I get back, we're gonna talk about extended warranties. Well, that was a painful experience. It's been a while since I've been to the post office and wow, talk about incompetence, geez. Anyway, we're going to talk about extended warranties for your motorcycle. More specifically, for your Honda Goldwing. And there's been quite a bit of debate about this. I've had several people email me and ask me questions about extended warranties. Are they worth the money? Are they any good? When should you buy them? I've had an extended warranty on three, or actually two, of the gold wings that I've owned out of four. I had an extended warranty on my 2007, and I had one on my 2012. Now, both of mine were Honda factory extended warranties. I did not purchase them when I bought the bike. Now, I know some people do because maybe the dealer offers you a good deal when you buy the motorcycle or maybe you can roll it into some kind of financing or something like that, but I always pay cash for my bike, so with me, I just don't buy them when I buy the bike because they don't go into effect until after three years anyway. Now, you may not know it, but with an Honda extended warranty, you can purchase that warranty anytime up until the day your factory warranty, your three-year warranty, expires. So on the two-year and 364th day of your manufacturer's warranty, you can purchase the Honda Extended Warranty for another up to five years now. It used to be only four years. But now you can go up to an additional five years. Now, I bought my extended warranties online through dealerships other than my dealer, and I'll tell you why. The dealer here in Dallas wanted close to $1,000 for a four-year extended warranty. I think it was $895. And that was on my 2007. And I was able to buy that extended warranty through an online dealer for maybe $500. Now, on my 2012 Goldwing, I purchased an extended warranty through Blue Ridge Power Sports, and it was an equally good deal. Much better than what you could get at the dealers here. 
or even the dealer where I bought my motorcycle. So I'll put their prices on the screen for you of what they sent me from Blue Ridge Power Sports on the 2018 Goldwing. And I think it's a pretty amazing bargain compared to what I've heard other people paying for the Honda Extended Warranty. Now, I personally would not recommend a third-party extended warranty. I've heard too many horror stories, not just motorcycle warranties, but automotive warranties as well. And the, the stories I've heard just basically, they, don't, they either don't cover anything or they don't pay. Uh, to have anything repaired. So I would consider a third party warranty to be just basically throwing the money away. Now, if you've had a different experience with a third party warranty other than a Honda warranty, please put it in the comments down below. I'm sure everybody would love to benefit from your experience. Now, I never had to use my extended warranty on my 2012. There was still, I think, a couple of years left of the extended warranty when I sold it. I believe the extended warranty does add to the value of a used motorcycle. So when you go to sell your motorcycle, if you're beyond the factory warranty, if you're after that three-year period and you go to sell your bike, it's going to help you sell that bike if you've got the Honda extended warranty. That's a big selling point. I would not buy a four-year-old Goldwing unless it had an extended warranty. I just wouldn't do it. So, you do what you think is right. <clears throat> now, on my 2007 Goldwing, I did use the extended warranty quite a bit. In fact, it more than paid for itself. They replaced both of my hand control switch gear under warranty because the switches were sticking. And you know, Honda's thing is they don't repair it, they just replace it. And those were, I don't know, four or $500 each. They're expensive. They replaced another fairing mounted, the radio switch panel, that whole switch panel, because the hazard lights were sticking. I couldn't get my hazard lights to turn off. Now, knowing what I know now, I could have probably gone in there and lubricated that switch and made it work, but Honda was willing to replace it under warranty and go look up the price of that. It's not cheap. And there were a couple other things that Honda replaced on that extended warranty. I have never had a warranty claim refused. I know I've been very fortunate in that regard. I've heard other guys have had horror stories. I have a great local dealer with an excellent service manager, uh, Dane over at Maxim Honda, and they've always been super fair with me. And that's why if I ever do need work done on the bike, that's why I take it because they've also got one of the best service techs I've ever met. He's been working on gold wings for 20 years and he does excellent work and he's the only guy I'll let touch my motorcycle other than me. His name's John and he's incredible. So that's my thought on extended warranties. I don't think you need to buy it when you buy your bike unless you get a really good deal. You know, if you get a great bargain on it, go ahead and get it. Dealers do make a profit on extended warranties. They actually probably make more on the add-on accessories and extended warranties than they do on the motorcycle. They really don't make that much on a Goldwing, especially if they're a discount dealer. You know, if you're buying your Goldwing from <clears throat> one of these discount places in Arkansas or Tennessee, you know, they may only be making two or three hundred dollars on that Goldwing. So you may feel sort of obligated or honor bound to buy the extended warranty from them let them make a little money on that and I don't have a problem with that if you have another place that has a great deal on extended warranties put it in the comments down below I'd love to hear about it I also have some very good news to share our 2018 plus Goldwing maintenance videos have now the sales of those videos have now surpassed the sales of my 2001 to 2017 Goldwing videos on demand. That's incredible when you consider that I've had those videos for sale for, well, gosh, since what, 2013 or 14? And the 2018, the videos have only been out a few months. 
that just shows how much enthusiasm there is for the 2018 plus Goldwing. And to celebrate spring riding season, which is coming up soon, we want to see you guys get your bikes in proper riding condition. So we're offering a special promotion, a 20% off on the purchase of the 2018 plus Goldwing maintenance videos. And we're gonna go we're gonna go ahead and extend it to the 2001 to 2017 videos as well. So no matter which bike you ride, whichever Goldwing you ride, you can get this spring discount. You just need to use the word spring at checkout. Make sure you enter that when you make your purchase through Vimeo.com. And also don't forget if you purchase through Vimeo.com to make sure and register uh, your purchase with Cruise Man's Garage website. We'll put links in there for you to do that. Because if you don't register with us, we have no way of knowing who purchased our videos. Vimeo does not give us that information because of privacy laws and things like that. So the only way for us to know that you're our customer is for you to register on our website. And that's important because we keep you updated when we come out with new videos, which we've been doing quite regularly and uh, if we update a video with new information so anyway remember the spring promotion thanks again for joining us today on cruise man's garage and that's all for now until the next cruise man's motovlogs